the cannons of the pirate ship ready to fire in the north end zone, we can only be one place. Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa, the home of the Buccaneers. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's the third-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he's going to be stopped at the line. No game. Great way for the defense to open up here at home. This defense wanted to come out early in this game and take the fight to the offense. And boy, did they ever set the tone on the very first play, keeping that carry to no game. Mahomes now on second down. That's caught. Travis Kelsey. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They put Kelsey in motion. On third and one, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Baker to begin with a pass. That pass complete to the veteran, Sterling Shepard. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. They send Godwin in motion. On second down, Baker. And the reception for Chris Godwin. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback... He put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. That's caught. It's Evans. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Down the field, it's Evans. And 
and they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive, and as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play in this opening quarter. Second and seven. Baker going to hand it to White. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now it's third down. From the gun, it's Mayfield. This one caught at the four. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll go. Mayfield. It is brought in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Now return coming from the seven. Oh, he's got room past the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Chiefs offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. Seven nothing, our score as this drive begins with a first down. On the ground to start the drive with Pacheco. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three. Mahomes now to throw on second down. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Throwing is Mahomes. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. 
That'll be a gain of 20, much of it coming after the catch as they pick up the first down. Play action here. Mahomes to the left side. It's caught by Brown. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Right back to the air for Mahomes. A short throw taken in by Kelsey. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Again, it's Mahomes. He's got it at the three. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Here's Pacheco. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No game. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike. Swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no game. The Chiefs will use their third and final timeout here. Harrison Butker on now for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Butker's kick is good. And the Chiefs are on the board just before halftime. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. The Buccaneers offense going to get it one last time here, late in the opening half. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Here's Mayfield. Here's a ball thrown deep right sideline. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start out first down and 10.
Here comes Otten in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. A short one there to Otten. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. They send Godwin in motion. A second down throw for Mayfield. This one caught left side by Evans. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. A pickup of 15 in the air. Good for a Buccaneers first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. And that will get him back on schedule. Good pickup of seven, sets up third and three. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Here comes Otten in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. First time they've looked his way all game long. He comes through with the grab and a first down. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. They feel to throw on first and 10. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Third and six. Mayfield. touchdown on the books from earlier and that catch gets him a first down to be a prolific passing offense in this league you have to be able to both throw the ball from the pocket and you have to be able to operate and convert on third downs and they've really done both at a high level on this drive and to no surprise they find themselves first and goal a short game down to the seven Second and goal. They'll put a receiver in motion right. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. McLaughlin now for the extra point. Oh, 
The kick is good. And the Bucks extend their advantage to 14 to 3. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away but dangerous Miko Hardman on the return and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line the Chiefs offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half they trail now 14 to 3 so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10 Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Throw left side is taken in by the tight end, Kelsey. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. He'll get that one complete to Rice. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there early completion but now they've got to get across midfield and go every single possession right now is priceless points possessions and then they got to get some defensive stops to the left side caught by Kelsey and he's down inside the 40 yard line that's his second catch on the drive this one is good for 20 yards this hasn't been his best game by any means, but what I really like, Mike, is regardless of the score, regardless of the time of the game, he is out there battling. He's doing everything in his power to chip away and see if he can get his team back in this game here in the fourth quarter. They've got to find a way to capitalize in this drive. Continue to cut into that deficit. Every possession is critical. Take advantage when you have the ball. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Mahomes now to throw again. He connects with Gray on that one. And he's going to be taken down. They get 14 yards and set up first and goal. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll drop to throw. That one taken in. Sky Moore. Touchdown, KC. This becomes a big spot here for the Chiefs. They will indeed go for two. Motion man is Rice. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. 
and that is incomplete. Two-point conversion attempt winds up being unsuccessful. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. This one taken at the 7. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Buccaneers offense headed back to take over once more. The lead is 5 as they're going to start with this first down. Begins with a run by White. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. The Bucks' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll start with great field position up at their 45. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On first down, right back to White. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Now KC going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. Another run here with White. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Here's White. So on fourth down, time to kick it away. Jake Camarda to do the honors. Back deep, Xavier Worthy. Too much leg there. That one's into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. and They'll begin it with first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. to the right side and incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. Mahomes now on second down. It's Kelsey. A pickup there of 25 yards. Good for a Chiefs first down. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. They uncover downfield. Leads to a big pickup. On first down, it's Mahomes. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And it'll lead to a second down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. 
is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. That's going to be incomplete, so no help there. And we're likely down to a final snap. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. One last shot now for Mahomes. And this is going to be a touchdown. What a finish. They win it on the final play. So it's a win for the visiting Chiefs. They knew this would be a dogfight away from home, and they were right. But they come away with a hard-fought victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.